Testimony continues today in the double murder trial of Alec Murdoch. The disbarred Low Country attorney is standing trial for the murder of his wife and son at the family's Colleton County hunting property back in June of 2021. Our Raphael James was in the courtroom today as new evidence was introduced. He joins us live from the Colleton County Courthouse and also brings us an update on what's been happening. Roth. Well, Katie, there were some 200 witnesses on the prosecution and the uh, defense's list to come and testify. But right now, the star witness in the courtroom is one of these, an iPhone. Alec Murdoch, Paul Murdoch, and Maggie Murdoch all had one. And that data, that information, especially from the night that Maggie and Paul were murdered, is being uncovered today in court. A sled agent is on the stand going through pages of data uh, from those phones and breaking it down with Alex's phone. They noted that there were some messages missing. They implied, the sled agent implied that those messages were deleted. Uh, Paul's phone, it took several months for them to even get into the phone and be able to uh, examine what was in that phone. Uh, actually, uh, members of the Secret Service were able to gain entry into that phone. And when they did, they were able to find certain times of conversations, lengths of conversations, who those conversations were with, and perhaps most importantly, when those conversations stopped happening. Also introduced Paul's Snapchat account. There were some Snapchat messages that we're uh, anticipating we're going to see be introduced into court today. Um, there was also the um, state mentioned that at some point, about 846, all communications on that phone with Paul stopped. Also, Alec Murdoch's phone, they even tracked his footsteps. You know, the phone has uh, trackers on it. it. It tracked his footsteps, and we don't know exactly where the prosecution is going with this yet. They are building, and we hope to find more on that coming up this afternoon in later testimony. But for now, from the Colleton County Courthouse, I'm Raphael James. Back to you. Thanks, Roth. Well, as always, our coverage of the double murder trial will continue today at 4 p.m., while we're off the air until then, you can follow along with our live blog. You can find that and a live stream from inside the courtroom on live5news.com.